I'm sorry, man. You had me at a disadvantage. I was uh, looking at the bill for $23. Uh, it shows me that you have a total balance of $236.13. Well, that's, that's kind of the reason for the call, man. Uh, I haven't been at that location in some time. I requested services to be discontinued when we moved out. And apparently, that never happened. And Duke Energy has just simply been charging me for someone else's services ever since. And I don't know how I'm responsible for that. I don't think it's fair. And it's certainly not what I requested. And so and now, I've, I've already called about it. And I just got a email and it's asking me to pay a dollar amount of $23.36 for the services at Four Amity. Now I'm willing to do that and be done with this. Seven one eight. Thank you so much for the information. I'd be glad to do this, Drew. Bear with me one moment. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's that same bitch that just got me on hold over here for twenty five minutes. Now. Shows that the services was ended May the fourth. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so, so about this ended May the fourth, you receiving. So about so about this twenty three dollars and thirty six cents. What uh, what do we do about that? All right, you have a past due balance of two hundred and twelve dollars and seventy seven cents. That includes the balance of the twenty um plus, I'm so sorry plus the twenty three dollars and thirty six cents. Um, they give you that two hundred and thirty six dollars and thirteen cents. So your services ended it. May the the fourth. Yeah, May the 4th, and so the final bill you received is your, um, that final bill of the $23.36 plus your past due balance of $212.77. Well, ma'am, I'm not paying for five months service that I want at the residence. Would you? Would anybody? Okay. Why does Duke Power so, expect me to? Why why didn't you why didn't you do what we agreed upon when I called and discontinued the services, ma'am? That's what I don't understand. Why why didn't Duke Power do this? And uh, I'm okay. sure it doesn't say it on your screen. So what how do I resolve this, ma'am? I don't have two hundred thirty six dollars for something I didn't receive. Okay, when did you call in to end the service? This would have been December. In December? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what I will have to do, I will have to get your call pulled back from December to, be, um, to hear that you had ended the service. When we get that call pulled and we show that you did call in to get those services ended, then we will um, take further action. But as of right now, we just have to wait to the call are pulled. And if we don't have a, if we did not receive a call being pulled back, I mean, if we did not receive the call back in December um, of the of the services ending, then we will have to. Um, Everything will have to stay as is. Not to totally apologize, but mm -hmm. as of right now, I will get that call pulled. The uh, good contact number is 919 933 5571. 
That's the best number to reach me. What's gotten into you, Tiger? You know you're going to jump your Okay, Well, I'm going to have that call to be pulled. It will um, take up to 24 to uh, 72 hours before that call be able to get pulled. Um, is there anything else that's going to fit you with today? Yes, ma'am. I got a question. How come? All right. I've been on hold for the last representative that I spoke to and just put me on hold. And I've been listening to this ever since. It's right here for 27 minutes. I want to thank you for that. That's professionalism. That's the professionalism that I can see Duke Power possesses. You can't get the information right. And when you get tired of speaking to somebody, just put them on hold. You get paid, right? Yeah, something like that.